everybody, so this is going to be my beauty favorites for September 2014. I have them all in a box down here. And if I sound a little bit nasally or manly, it's because I have a pretty bad cold. I feel like it's on the way out now, but um, my nose is kind of a faucet right now. So doing, a makeup, doing makeup today was rather interesting because um, I feel like it's a losing battle because um, I'm always blowing my nose and just takes off the makeup. They need makeup that is so durable that it can hold up nose blowing. I don't know. I don't know if that's possible, but um, that's the first thing that comes off when I when I do my makeup, so that kind of sucks. I haven't done makeup in a few days. Today is the first day because I haven't been feeling well, but I thought I would share with you guys the things I've been loving this September. Um, most of it's makeup, but two of them are skin, skincare products. And it's not often that I switch up um, everything kind of in my moisturizer skincare line. And I did that this month, so, and I'm loving it, so I want to share with you guys. The first one I mentioned in my empties, this is the brand Peerless. I was introduced to this brand by Ipsy, got a sample of two of them in my um, different Ipsy bags, one with SPF and one without. Fell in love with this moisturizer. It just has really great ingredients, and you can, it's one of those moisturizers you can tell when you put it on that um, it's just higher quality. Very, very smooth, very hydrating, but lightweight at the same time. Doesn't interfere with my makeup. Um, just a total favorite. It's got a nice scent too. I'm also gonna read you the ingredients because there's not many. Blue Lotus, white tea, soy proteins, sea silk, and lupine peptides. And that's it. So, I mean, it wasn't the cheapest moisturizer out there. I did find it on sale. I think it was about $30, but I really wanted to invest in it. I really fell in love with it. And it's an absolute favorite. And the second moisturizer I wanted to talk about is a night cream. Now this one is from Alba Botanica. It's called Even Advanced C Plus Renewal Night Cream. This is what it looks like here. I always like to try new night creams. Um, there are several that I like and several that I don't and I'm always on the hunt for a new one. I placed an order with Vitacost.com a few months back I thought I'd just add one to the cart. I love the facial cleanser from Alba Botanica, so I knew I liked this brand. And they only had one night cream on the website, so I just went for it. I didn't know I'd actually fall in love with it the way that I did. It is so amazing. It is super thick, as you can see. Um, extremely moisturizing, but not greasy. I can't really smell anything right now because my nose is plugged. But it has this, like... I guess it's the C plus renewal. I think it's sea kelp or something. It's got this like sea ocean type scent to it. It reminds me of my grandma or her bathroom when I was little growing up. That may sound really strange, but um, it reminds me of like bath salts and bath, little bath bombs and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just a really reminiscent scent to me and I love the scent. And um, I just think it's a fabulous night cream. I think it's one I'm definitely gonna be purchasing. Every time I put it on, I'm like, oh yeah. I like this night cream. I remember why I like it every time I use it, so that's always a good sign. Okay, moving on to makeup. I feel like I'm out of breath, but I think it's because I can't breathe through my nose and I'm talking right now, so I'm trying to breathe and talk at the same time. And I'm pregnant, so I'm kind of out of breath when you're pregnant anyways. So it's not working out for so well for me right now. I purchased a new lipstick this month as we're heading into fall. I really wanted to try out like a purple, a deep purple lipstick. Um, there are a couple at Sephora that I've been eyeing, but I haven't been to Sephora in a while. So the drugstore, I literally swatched every purple or slightly purple lipstick out there. And this one was my favorite, and it is from Revlon, and it is the color Violet Frenzy. It's a pearl, 027. Look up so you can see the name first. Violet Frenzy. And that's what it looks like. It looks quite daunting, uh, but it's definitely a purple. I'll swatch it for you. I've worn it two times. It's not something that I would wear to work or drop my kid off at preschool or something like that. Um, you can build it up. That's like a lighter version of it. But I just think it's such a flattering color on myself and it's such a fun color to wear. I don't know if I'm going to go out for dinner or something like that or any kind of occasion like Thanksgiving and stuff like that. I just think it's a really fun color to wear. I like wearing bold lips especially in the fall because then you can just do like simple eyeliner, put on a bold lip, and it looks like I've done something fancy. I don't know, I just like the way it looks on me, so that is definitely a favorite. 
And another new product I picked up in the past like, six weeks or so is from Hard Candy. I don't know what my obsession with Hard Candy is. I literally, every time I'm at Walmart, go over there to see what's new or what I haven't tried yet. There's been so many misses, but there's been hits too, and it's such an inexpensive brand, and I feel like it's such a new, unique brand. They just, their packaging is so cute, and it's like they try and copy bigger brands from Sephora. I heard that they were actually in Sephora a long time ago, that they were a higher brand, and maybe that's why, but they're just a fun brand. Anyways, this is the uh, metallic eyeshadow. I don't think it's new. It's in the color Golden Earth. They come, sorry, <laughs> sorry about my nose. They come in tubes like that. Now these could either be hits or misses because it comes in a one like that. If it creases or if it's really greasy, then it could be a hot mess. I'm happy to report that this is like a cream product. There it is right there. Very, very metallic and does not crease. So I've worn it many, many times um, just on its own. I'm sure you could put eyeshadow on top. There it is sheared out of it. But it's a beautiful color. It's like a sandy, well, it's, what's it called? Golden Earth? It's like a sandy gold color. So, I don't know. I'm loving this this month. This next one is an oldie but a goodie, and I've been using it every day this, mostly this month, because of the um, Five Before Fall tag that I'm doing, where I'm trying to finish up five products, and that's the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Powder. The Never Ending Powder. Look at that hit pad there. It's a really weird pen too because it's got all the crisscrosses in it but i'm trying to get every little last bit out of there and every time i use it i'm like oh yeah this is nice powder i remember why i love this powder so i'm gonna have to pick up a new one if you haven't tried it out i would highly recommend it as a setting powder it doesn't add any weight or powder look or powder in general to your face really just kind of sets everything and mattifies everything and leaves you with this like extra i don't know glowiness to your skin and helps your foundation stay longer and it's it's just beautiful I love it and it lasts forever as you can tell um, another oldie bit goodie this is the gimme brow from benefit I didn't find myself using it a whole lot this summer but now it falls back I don't know I want my eyebrows to stay in place this gives them a bit of tint um, I love the little tiny brush on it I wish it wasn't so expensive it's the only downfall but the color is really nice for my eyebrows so yeah, I just used an eyebrow pencil and then this on top. And I really, really like it. Um, two last products. One, another one from the Finish 5 Before Top Fall tag. It's my little itty bitty Urban Decay shadow stick in the color Sin. I'm getting there, you guys. It's getting hard to sharpen, though. That's the end there. Oh, such a pretty color. I'm going to have to buy a new one. So probably that and the NARS. There it is there light reflecting powder I'll have to go buy it together but they're worth it they're amazing and the last product I've purchased a couple times in the past and I went out and purchased it again it's called the CoverGirl Clump Crusher waterproof mascara okay this mascara if you hadn't tried it it's definitely clump crusher you can't really get any clumps with it I wouldn't call it super Mm, volumizing or lengthening it's just a really good solid mascara to coat your lashes keep them separated I like pairing it with other mascaras because if it does get too clumpy with the volumizing ones you can just go through it and kind of clean up your messes but what I really like it for and the reason I got waterproof this time is I like it for my lower lash line because it hardly puts down any products don't like it really with a lot of mascara down there and because it's waterproof it doesn't transfer down into my foundation or concealer so Yes, those are my favorites this month. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what products you're loving this September. I'm always on the hunt for new new loves, so I'd love to hear what you guys are enjoying, and maybe I'll go check it out. And yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.